Hey everybody, this is your host Kyrie zero ninety one, joining you today for another episode of Let's Play EverQuest Project nineteen ninety nine. Today we'll be playing on the green server, and I'm joined by our friends Poozerfruit and Brian Lutz. How are you today, Poozerfruit? You know, it's just it's a really nice dusky morning here in the gorge of King's Orb. Mm. And I'm excited to have an adventure with my fellow mm. fellow peeps. Mm. Um, Brian Lutz. It looks like uh, Brian Lutz wants to die, um, but oh. I trust him. Maybe if he can get a root, well, this won't be an issue. We'll see what it, what happens here. I'm gonna go ahead and root the uh, Minotaur. He's rooted. Just your friend. So that's Brian fine. So he's he's not going anywhere for a little while, guys. It's minor. What do you guys think? You know, I'm thinking if we uh, combine our strengths and focus on the positive. We could, uh, you know, really get through this mud eye miner and then and then take off, uh, take the other guys down. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and root that mud eye elder. So the mud eye elder's rooted, so you can move away from him, and he can't do anything about I'm, it. I'm not complaining. I am. Bugaka, move away. I'm choosing. I'm choosing to focus on the positives. Ah, I see. Hey, Bugaka, um, why don't you have Vasa rare? Not, um, you know, I I love Vasa rare, and I don't want. He does good him. work. He does good work. Let's call that what it is. Bad to happen to my good old Vasa Rare. Yeah, you can't really, you know, you can't really fault. You can't, oh, I'm, I'm in trouble. I might die. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, count to ten. That's a pretty and... negative view. I don't really know if negative reinforcement is the right way to deal with these mobs. I think with some support and a good root, it just goes a long way. You know, okay, well, I went ahead and rooted him, so he's not going anywhere. It looks like, but um, my dear Spugaka, just kind of he's maybe just kind of watching. maybe cast a disease cloud on Jorge Minotaur, you know, mm. to maybe ease oh. Excelia's tension. I would do that as soon as my blindness subsides. Oh, you say you're blind? Oh, Don't there we are. Uh, that, that's no fun. Mm. I can't imagine the struggle. What life must be like when you have to deal with that level of adversity. I find it, really it to makes be you more think. of a superpower. They say, they say that when you lose one of your senses, your others become much more heightened and you find much more pleasure in sexuality. It really makes you think because there's not a, a lot else you can do when you're blind. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Good job, everybody. Well done. Wow. Well done. I'm proud of my team. It's your friend, Brian Lutz. I pulled this, and we got experience. That's so, the real meaning of teamwork. It is. Yeah. You know what? Thank you for that wisdom, Excelia, Bukaka. Let me use a Band-Aid on you. I know that you don't like when I use them. You, you're very much about handling yourself, but I just feel led to share with you. Well, thank, thank you for letting me bandage you. You know, I've never had somebody in my life that I could trust to bandage me. So it's, it's a new experience for me, but I'm working through it uh, with, my, with, with, with my psychologist, and I'm learning to trust again. Why don't we just all take a moment right now to look at our hands and appreciate our hands and say thank you, hands. Thank you. Thank you, hands. Thank you, hands. You're welcome. That was Hans. He's here with me. Oh, Hans. Th thank you, Hans. Yes, my accent is a little... Yeah, we're working on it, though. He's very supportive. Good hands, you know. Well, my mana's at about 60... 52 or so. <laughs> I'm <not> like... <laughs> ah, are you okay? Are you, are you... Are you all right? Choking on a fizzy drink again, Excelia. I know. You I was relaxing with a cool glass of turnip juice. I'm at about forty mana. Oh, I know you getting turn up at night. Good times. It's good fun. I like to sprinkle a little paprika and turmeric in my my turn up juice. I get very turned up. Mm. Sure, sure. My favorite thing to do uh, on a nice dusk morning like this one. So really just look out on the horizon and think about all the possibilities. 
Yeah. I love those possibilities. I love your possibilities. There's a lot of uh, treats that we bring out to share with our families this time of year. It's not even Halloween, right? No, That's it's, a spirit. Yeah. it's it's not even close. But um, I'd say the thing that I like to share with my family around the holidays is my balls. Your your meatballs are to die for, Excelia. I need that recipe. As a family member of his, I can raise my hand and attest to this. Uh, we all look forward to his balls every gathering and holiday. Well, like most recipes for delicious balls, my balls have been handed. <laughs> are you, do you need a moment? I'm joking on turnip juice again. He's just thinking about that recipe. That's what I like about you, Excelia. A dash of scrotum. <laughs> a pinch of... <laughs> sorry, a sorry, pinch Bugarka. Of, a, a pinch what was of that? Scrotum. Well, there, there is a dash of scrotum, but I like to just add a pinch. <laughs> well, there's no beating my balls. Mm, but I'm always down to try. I have my turnip juice. Ooh, a Chazza Minotaur. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that they let him in the gorge. Usually the other uh, members of the gorge uh, are opposed to anyone from a, a nearby Chasm. He's known to be a ruffian, that one. I think we should probably just let him on his way. He's not harming anyone. Although he did scowl at me, and I found that questionable. We don't know where he's at right now. We shouldn't be quick to judge. That's that's true. That's fair. You know, he he woke up to this wonderful day, just like all of us. Sure. He's lived he his own lives. Sure. He did ask. He didn't ask to be born. Into sure. This painful coil. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mm. I can see it. I like your tone, Excelia. Thank you. Sure. I like I like your appreciation. It's good to feel appreciated, isn't it? Sure. That was not a projection. That was an honest feeling. Yeah. Would Would Bugaka and um, Excelia consider traveling alongside of me? Sure. I would love to walk abreast of you. Where are you, my friend? Um, yes. Oh, you're dying. But I would like a moment to meditate briefly. Would you like to meditate on, on just some wise words? Well, I, 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 need, I, need to, I need a greater amount of strength. I feeling, I've been feeling a bit, a bit encumbered lately. You see, I, I have become cumbersome mm, to this world. Emotionally. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's too heavy, it's too light, too wrong, too right, too black or too white. Dance tonight. Cumbersome. You know, oh, we were talking sure. about sharing things with our family, and our favorite things to share um, would be oh, our nice. kind words and our poetic language. Man, this stuff's heavy. Our wives. Sure. Sure. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna pull this mud eyed elder, not for any personal reasons. There's a George Just Minotaur who Well, I don't find that pleasant at all. You know, I am not one to get my jimmies all rustled. But I have to say Ooh. I don't <laughs> I know, I apologize for the language. I apologize to the viewers for using that kind of language on what has always been known as a family show. But that Gorge right Minotaur now. was scowling at me, and he looked ready to attack, and I don't think that was appropriate. But Kyrie, he's just as afraid of you as you are of him. And we're also in his home right now. We should respect that. We are guests. We are guests, and I, I would like to see the manager before we leave here. Look, I don't want to get him in trouble, but I feel like he needs to learn a valuable lesson in customer service and accommodation. 
I know you're there to teach those lessons to customer service representatives that you're slaying. Well, I mean, we didn't come all the way to the Gorge of King Zorb to be mistreated. Oni doll, I love how you run over to camp and die. I will just like to say something, you guys. I would like to point out that we are a diverse group, are we not? We well, are. We are. Let's get in line of height. We are. Hang on. The youth of the nation. Hang on. We are. We are. We are showing female pride here because we have females from all over the world, and I am fairly confident that Vassarer is also a female. I don't see how you can look at that number of ribs and have Identify. any other thing. I can you line up Vassarer with us in line? Well, I don't really tell Vassarer what to do. It's, she is her own person, but I can stand next to her since she's chosen where to be. You can tell her to sit and she oh. won't move. I pick up what you're putting down. Vesserer is taller than me, so I will go to this side. You no 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 okay. come stand stand in between me and Vasserer, please. Oh, we're doing that. Take a few take take a step forward. There you are. Now do not move. Alright, this is beautiful. This is good. Audience I just wanna dance. On the count of three, let's wave. One, two, three. Hello. Now let's try dancing. Okay. One, two, dance. I patted you on the back for those moves. Now let's look. Let's let's get ready to shrug our shoulders like we're confused. Oh boy! One, oh, this two, is shrug. We're all having a good time, right, viewers? All right. Let's get ready to bow like we're oh, expressing yeah. appreciation. One, two, bow. Whoopsie Daisy, I challenge you to a duel on accident. It's okay. We all make those mistakes. Oh wait, did I say accident? I said out of excitement. Again, it's a reasonable mistake. I accept Ladies? you for that. Ladies? Shall we go? Yes. After you, Oni Doll. The the clan has been waiting for us to join them. They invited us to their runny eye feast. Let us go. Make haste. Well, we don't want to keep the runny eyes waiting. I hope we don't you run into best. that nasty gorge minotaur along the way. The I didn't best. like his scowling. The best solution for runny eyes are funny guys. Inscribe that on something. I'm having a hard time seeing at the moment. It's okay. That's unfortunate. But I'll tell you what, you don't even need eyes to appreciate the beauty of this gorge on a day like today. I'll have to take your word for it, as I'm also now blind. I assure you. But I'm not complaining. Even a blind man can see that you look gorgeous, Bugaka. Well, you are a gorgeous okay. young lady. Looks like Excelia has a new friend. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you there, little fella. I'm just going to ask you to kind of hang out over here for a minute. What are all of these bricks of clay and ore for? Does anybody well, know? the blocks of ore seem to be to help you get over your weight limit as quickly as possible. Oh, oh, and it's helping with that. It sure is. Hmm. I see that now. Yeah, I think that's what they're for. I think the goal is if you ever needed to exceed your weight limit for strength training purposes, the uh, blocks of ore... Will will be the way to get there. It was thoughtful of the uh, the, the 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 designers of our universe here to include are such you, a thing. Are you now, saying that those mudites are just out here working out? Maybe. Also, the clay would be really great to make pottery with. Ooh. You know how we've been wanting to. Uh, now that would be beautiful. Let's try this out. I'm Excelia, there's a friend behind you. Oh, the, I know. I oh asked boy, him to. He, oh, 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 oh. I think we should head for Runny Eye now. That's what a, do you guys think? That's a new song I'm working on. Well, can you root the other one? I'm thinking that 
you know he's on your pet your pet your pet has him occupied oh will you request your pet to come back and hang out with us okay i'm gonna die no you're not Now we'll go back this way. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna fucking do it. I mean. Are we rooting the other one who's hurting the Bukaki Haki? Oh. He's oh. on your he's on your pet. And I'm uh, I you consider know, that to be rooted of sorts because he's not bothering me. You know, Excelia, something happened with your voice. Um he's Tense. This is my voice when I'm dying. Excelia, would you root the? Uh... I'm trying to. Got him. He's rooted. What? You rooted the one that was running for death? No, I All rooted right. the other one. The one that's running for death is still moving. Okay, no problems. No problem. Um, I'm low on mana, so let's not put me into a position where you need me to have mana. Good. Good. <laughs> I notice a sudden change in the uh, atmosphere. It's about to not take hold. Is somebody else doing a dick to this ding along? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Language. Oh the, no, that's a uh, colloquialism for. Is somebody else doing a penis to this testicle? There's a scary troll that ran by. Hey. All of God's unnerving. creatures are beautiful. Have you seen them all before? All the ones I've ever seen, Bugaka. All the ones I've seen. Even those filthy, nasty erudites are beautiful in their own way. You all had your fears. Okay, I ran Bugaka. into an erudite today. He was lovely. His name was Deshaun, and his last name was Shaquan. Mm. Thank you you like sharing, to see buddy. them embracing their culture. I'm glad, I'm glad for one, to see that sure. he has embraced his family heritage. Sure. Now, I say sure. we make haste for the Runny Eye Citadel before we miss out on the appetizers. Oh, that's true. They work really hard on those appetizers. They do, and they are scrumptious. I dropped one one time. I dropped one of the servings on the floor. And one of the fellas there said to me, You dropped appetizer at your feet. Looks like something good to eat. He was right. It was to die for. Well, friends, I want to point out the date. It's February 18th. I hope you don't take this as passive aggressive, but I can't wait to see when this actually gets online. Great point, Bugaka. Thank you. Really? Because I felt like that point might have just been a little bit on the offensive side. Ooh, I'm not trying like to call you out or suggest that maybe... You're a fat ass ogre who needs to get back to Ogok. Oh, oh. Okay. No, I'm not saying that. Are we having this conversation? Mm. No, it I would never like say that. No, all that I'm saying is that I'm glad that at least uh, you you have the erudites who are willing to hang out with somebody as awful as you. Hmm? Well, Excelia, um. Hmm. Why don't you accept my duel there, Excelia? We'll Did settle this you? the old fashioned way. You know, I think things are getting a little out of hand here, um, ladies. Look, all that I'm um, saying is that if it wasn't for the welfare system, the erudites wouldn't even have any children at all. Oh my god. Wow. I'm glad I'm blind. I wish my ears were blind right now. Um, you know what? We're all thinking it. We're all- I'm saying it, we're all thinking it. Okay? Despite making up 13% of the population in Norath, erudites are responsible for 50% of the kill seals. All that I'm saying is that it's time we work together to make Antonica great again. I like it. 
<laughs> you would. Hey everybody, this is Kyrie091. If you enjoyed this video, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie channel for more big fun.